fixed points fixed points of a mapping w equal to f of z are points that are mapped onto themselves this they are obtained from w is equal to f of z or f of z is equal to z first example find the fixed points of w is equal to a plus ib into z square so we have to find the fixed points of this function a plus ib into z square so fixed points all those uh, are the points for which this function mapped into themselves that is equating this function with w is equal to z now put w equal to z that is a plus ib z square equal to z square which implies that a plus ib the whole square minus z is equal to zero take z as a common factor so z into a plus ib into z minus one equal to zero either zero z is equal to zero or a plus ib into z minus one is equal to zero that is z is equal to one by a plus ib so these are the fixed points of the corresponding function a plus ib into z square next question w is equal to z minus 3i find the fixed points of z minus 3 now let z minus 3i is equal to z z z cancelled so which implies that minus 3i not minus 3i equal to 0 since minus 3i not equal to 0 there are no fixed points for the mapping z minus 3i or for the function w is equal to z minus 3i another example w is equal to a ai z minus 1 divided by z plus ai so fixed points by putting w is equal to z so the function f of z equal to z in place ai z minus 1 just cross multiply z square ai z z square ai z ai z cancelled remaining z square equal to minus 1 z is equal to plus or minus i so plus or minus i are the fixed points of the function now the identity mapping identity mapping w is equal to z has every point as a as a fixed point w equal to z bar has infinitely many fixed points and they are z bar is equal to z which implies z is equal to all all natural numbers all whole numbers zero plus or minus one plus or minus two etc consider the mapping w is equal to one by z the inverse mapping fixed points are z is equal to one by z that is z square is equal to one z is equal to plus or minus one so z is equal to plus or minus one are the fixed points of w equal to one by z now next we will move on to the mapping sign functions or the conformal mapping of sign functions so let w is equal to u plus iv which is equal to f of z where z is equal to x plus iy then sine z sine z equal to sine x plus iy which is equal to sine x cos iy plus cos x sine iy sine x cos cos iy is equal to cos h of y plus cos x into cos iy equal to i sine hy so which implies that comparing the real and imaginary part or uh, the real part of this function f of z is equal to u which is equal to sine x cos hy 
and imaginary part v is equal to cos x into sin h of y now w is equal to sin z f dash derivative of sin z is equal to cos z so the critical points of f of z is equal to sin z are critical points where f dash of z all those points where f dash of z is equal to zero that is cos z is equal to zero which implies z is equal to plus or minus 2 plus or minus 3 pi i plus or minus 3 pi by 2 etc the function sin z is not conformal not conformal at at the points plus or minus 2 pi plus or minus 3 pi by 2 plus or minus pi by 2 plus or minus 3 pi by 2 etc now uh, the mapping sin z find the image of x is equal to k image of x is equal to k so, under the mapping w is equal to sin z so x is equal to k a constant image of this line under the mapping f of z is equal to sin z so u is equal to u is equal to sin x into cos hy and v is equal to cos x into sin hy put x is equal to k here and here also replace x is equal to k now sin h of y sin k is a constant cos k another constant so we have we have cos cos h square y minus sin h square y is equal to 1 since cos cos h of y equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by 2 and sin h of y is equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2 so on squaring cos h of y and sin h of y and subtract these two values we will get this equation sin cos square h of y minus sin square h of y is equal to 1 now cos square h of y is equal to or cos h of y is equal to u by sin k and sin h of y is equal to v by cos k so cos h square of y minus sin h square of y is equal to u by sin k the whole square minus v by cos k the whole square that is u square by sin square k minus v square by cos square k which is equal to so which represents a hyperbola so it's an equation of a hyperbola so the mapping the function or the line x equal to k mapped onto hyperbola in w plane so this is the graph x is equal to k mapped on to so z plane mapped on to w plane under the transformation sin z under the mapping sin z okay now the mapping when x is equal to zero image of x is equal to zero the line image uh, the line x is equal to 0 mapped into so x equal to 0 implies that put x is equal to 0 here x equal to 0 implies that u is equal to sin 0 0 cos 0 1 so v is equal to sin h of y and u is equal to 0 u equal to 0 v is equal to sin h of y u equal to 0 implies that all the image points lies on the imaginary axis so all the values of all the image values are lies on imaginary axis image of the function image of this x is equal to 0 are lies on 
imaginary axis. Sin h of y, values of sin h of y, sin h of y varies from minus infinity to infinity. That is v varying from minus infinity to infinity, which implies that image of x is equal to zero, that is the imaginary axis, image of x is equal to zero mapped into imaginary axis itself in w plane. Now, image of y equal to k under the transformation sin is z. Now, v is equal to, we know that u is equal to sin x into cos h of y and v is equal to cos x into sin h of y. Now, put y is equal to k here, you get u is equal to sin x into cos h of k, cos x into sin h of or sine cos h of k is a constant, sine h of k is another constant. u by cos h of k equal to sine x and v by sine h of k is equal to cos x. And sine square x plus cos square x is equal to one. Implies that sine square, sine square x plus cos square is equal to one, which implies u square by cos h, cos h of k the whole square plus v square by sin h of k the whole square is equal to 1 which represents a ellipse in the w plane u square by cos h square of k plus v square by sin h square of k so it's a constant cos h square of k is another constant so this image represents a ellipse in the w plane so image of y equal to k is ellipse under the transformation w is equal to sine z now image of y equal to zero y equal to zero now put y is equal to zero here y equal to zero so cos h of zero e raised to zero plus e raised to minus zero, that is one plus one divided by two, that is two. Sine or u is equal to sine x, u is equal to sine x, cos h of zero is equal to one. So u is equal to sine x and v is equal to sine h of zero is equal to e raised to zero minus e raised to zero, that is zero. So sine h of zero equal to zero, v is equal to zero. So v equal to zero and u is equal to sine x. Now v equal to zero means the image, the points lies in the real u axis in the w plane. V equal to since v equal to zero, imaginary numbers or imaginary part is equal to zero. So images are lies on the real axis in the w plane. That is on the u axis and u is equal to sin x so sin x varying from minus 1 to 1 uh, image of y equal to 0 the line y equal to 0 is u between minus 1 and 1 so image of the real axis in the w plane is the segment of real axis between minus 1 and 1 as you can see in this graph its points between minus one and one image of y equal to zero okay under the transformation w is equal to sine z